Hey guys, I'm Joe Theo with Vid Authority, and last week I was at E3 and I checked out the YouTube gaming booth. As promised, I got a lot to talk about. I was really interested in it myself, so I got a lot of notes and stuff, right? My little notebook. I'm gonna go over everything I learned about it, show you some footage. So why don't we just jump right in? So YouTube gaming is the upcoming platform that's gonna be all gaming for YouTube. It's gonna be streaming, you know, gaming videos. I talked about it a lot in a previous video. I'll put that link in the description if you want to watch it. Now, at the E3 YouTube Gaming booth, they had all the different forms of the website out. They had it on a phone, they had it on a tablet, they had it on a laptop. I tried them all out pretty extensively, and it seems pretty solid. I mean, I wouldn't expect a buggy website from YouTube. It's not accessible from the internet yet, but it was on display at the booth. So what I learned is that right now, gaming channels are being automatically added. YouTube apparently is using their algorithm to automatically tell if your channel is a gaming channel. Mine wasn't on there, so I guess they're still rolling it out. I think they have like 23,000 channels or something like that. Well, it's interesting why mine's not on there because it's literally called Cash Gaming, but I don't know. They, It's still not even launched yet, so they're probably still adding them. Now the pages are gonna be looking a lot like the normal YouTube channel with a little bit of differences. One thing is that in addition to creator channels, there will also be game channels, channels for the games themselves which will feature stuff that the developer put up there, but also it will include user-generated content. For example, let's say Call of Duty, there's a reviews tab, which will have an automatically generated list of reviews by users and players. There will also be one for Let's Plays from users. These are all like user-generated content, so the developers can add not just their own stuff, but you know, stuff the players add. And of course, a creator channel is gonna look a little bit different, from a regular YouTube channel, but you know, it's still familiar. Right now, I'm actually gonna cut in a video of one of the people who are demonstrating YouTube gaming. They were nice enough to, you know, do a little bit of explanation and, you know, show me through it so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So here in the top, you have like the top um, training videos or live events that, you, you know, happening right now. Uh, on, on the bottom, you have the feed of what's training on the games that you're already following. You can here on the left side see all the games. So on the top you have the games that you favored. So the ones that you are going to show on the main feed and other popular games that you might be interested to. And on the right side you have the channels, right? Those are like traditional YouTube channels. Right. Either ones that you have subscribed uh, or uh, favored here on the top and the rest of them, uh, other feature channels here on the bottom. You, you see this red dot for all the ones that are live right now. So if you want to just follow like Nintendo um, event, you can see that they're live right now. So you can just watch their live stream. Awesome. And it's really easy to find content and, and, and to navigate. Now one of the main things YouTube added that I think really should have been added before, but it's the ability to stream live pretty much instantly without having to go through and create an event like you do now. You know, it's a whole process to set up a stream. Right now, Elgato actually and Xfire were at the booth. They had their software running, but they were showing how you could just go into your software and click start stream and it would instantly go to the channel and start streaming just like it does on Twitch. So you don't have to go through and create an event and find the key and all that stupid stuff. As I mentioned in my other video, I really hope YouTube adds these emoticons and other community features and I did ask about them. Now what they said was, there's nothing to announce yet, but they will be adding more stuff. That's all they said. So I'm sure they know that these are things that people want. And they actually gave me a uh, survey after I was given like a little demonstration. They gave me a survey about, you know, how I thought about the interface and all that stuff. And there was a suggestions box or a, you know, just an open box for any more suggestions. And of course, I wrote a essay about what I want to add. Well, you know, a few sentences. I said, I suggested something like badges for longtime subscribers, stuff like that. And I think the way I put it was, you know, features that add just another level of community involvement. So it's not like a one way, just chat kind of thing. And, you know, API features. I think I mentioned that as well. So hopefully uh, I got a little bit closer to the source with these suggestions and I actually did talk to some YouTube gaming staff, people actually working at YouTube. I, I met a bunch of different cool guys and, you know, I was talking with them about it and, you know, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait for it to launch. They say it's going to be soon. They said summer 2015. It is now summer, so any day now probably. 
And that was pretty much all they did there. It was basically just the website on display that you could mess around with, but it was still really cool to see exactly how it works. In terms of new features coming out, they're probably never going to talk about it until it actually launches, so I guess we're just going to have to wait for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about this and looking at the footage. You guys can let me know what you think. If you have any questions that you think I might be able to answer that I didn't mention in the video, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll be responding, of course. If you want to subscribe, feel free. I make videos at least once a week, usually more. And you can also like the video, all that good stuff. If you want to check out other videos, those will be on the right-hand side. You can also check those links in the description if you're on a phone. And that's pretty much all I know about YouTube gaming, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.